Good morning girls. Trust you are doing well and welcome to my home studio. Well girls, as you know, all your art projects are locked up in the art storeroom at school. So I've decided to do an artwork that all of you can do from grade four to grade seven. Now, of course, each one of yours will be uniquely beautiful. And I know at Gordon Road, we've got lots of talented girls. Okay, girls, <laughs> so let's start. Right, girls, so this is the artwork that I have created. Now, I had to do a lot of planning because I know quite a few of you, in fact, most of you, would not have A3 paper at home. But A4 paper is also available at Checkers and Pick and Pay. And most of you have got it at home because you've probably got a printer at home. Right, girls. So, we, so that's why I did an A4 format. I framed it with two A4 pieces I stuck together. Right. And also the medium to use. Most of you have got oil pastels. And also one can buy oil pastels at Checkers and Pick and Pay as well. Right girls, so, so when I created this artwork, I realized that, that doing all this detail on the robin bird is quite tricky with this um, medium, the oil pastel medium, because it is a very chunky um, crayon. So these things one learns as one goes along. So I thought, now I don't want you to get frustrated with all that detail and this chunky crayon. And therefore, I had to put on my thinking cap and think, now how do we overcome that problem? So I thought, right, let's do a larger artwork. Let's enlarge this. And what I have come up with is the following. I have stuck together a four... A four pieces of paper with sellotape and then we can do a collage right so the robin bird will will draw on an A4 size paper and the frangipanis and the the leaves as well okay so so we'll do all of this together step by step then we'll color blend the the robin bird the frangipanis and leaves and then we will stick them onto this A2 size paper and we'll also color blend the background. Right girls, so that we'll do step by step. Um, this is a series of, of quite a few lessons, maybe five to six lessons. And we're going to start with the drawing of the robin bird. Now the grade fours might find the drawing of the robin bird a bit tricky. But give it a go anyway. Once we get to the frangipanis and leaves, that will be a lot easier. And the grade fours can do a lovely artwork with those um, frangipani flowers and leaves. And we can do it on a smaller piece of paper, maybe A4, or stick two A4s together and an A3 size. But as we go along, we'll just um, see how it goes. Right girls, so before we start the drawing of the robin bird, I have made a, different, a separate video on my own because that's quite a lengthy video and you'll probably have to do it in sections because it is quite long. But I just want to quickly discuss the elements of art with you because we always do refer to the elements of art when we create an artwork. Okay, so this is what we use to create an artwork. These are the seven basic ones, line, shape, form, color, tone, texture, and space. And we will be referring to them as we go along. Right, girls, enjoy the tutorial. Bye. <laughs> right, girls. So first we are going to draw this robin bird. And as you can see, I've drawn a basic grid because a grid does help you how to draw you you actually use the horizontal and the vertical lines and you see where your shapes fit in and how far from those lines they are and how they relate to those lines but you'll understand as we carry on 
Right, and let me just show you here. The element that we are using at the moment is line. Okay. And then we are going to create a shape, a basic shape with this line. Right, so I am videoing and I'm, I'm doing a video myself with this, so I hope it's going to work out. Um, right, so this bird on its own is very daunting. To, 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 to look at all those lines and shapes at the same time. So we're going to do it section by section. So we're going to do that rectangular, hope you can see it still, yes. That rectangular section first. Okay, let me stick that there. And then you are going to draw your own basic grid. Okay, let's do that first actually before we start with the, the um, drawing of the bird. So let's measure your grid. Okay, so this um, paper is almost 30 centimeters. So we're going to do 15 centimeters. So we're going to do the half of 30. It's just under 30, but we're just going to um, make it easy for ourselves and say 15. Up there you make a line and 15 down here you make a line and then you link up the two lines there we go let me actually use a 4b i mean a 6b pencil it's a bit darker and it's easier to see okay and then that length is 21 centimeters so that would be 10 and a half and ten and a half. Right. And then we link up those two lines and we have a very basic horizontal and vertical grid. So let's go back to our robin bird. Right, so we're going to do that one rectangular section first. There we go. And you're going to do so whatever is in that rectangle must also come in this rectangle okay those shapes right girls so let's do this okay so where do we know where we must start how do we know where we must start so we look this is where the grid helps us this line we look at that measurement. Where does that um, line begin? So we can either take our fingers, our finger and our thumb, and measure like that roughly, or we can use a ruler. If we use a ruler, it is almost four and a half centimeters. That's correct. There we go. And let's just measure this as well. That is six centimeters, six. Right, so now we know that is where it begins and that's where it ends. But in between we also have that curve. So how do we know that? We measure that and that. That links there quickly. Four and a half. Ta -da. Let's do that. And then that one is two centimeters more or less. Two there. And we know that's where the curve comes. Right, now drawing is all about looking. So your eye looks and it's got a slight curve and it gets that slight curve in. Right, I hope you can all see okay. Oopsie. There we go. We draw that slight curve. And then it's got that dent. And then it goes straight to that mark. Right, there we go. Okay, and now we've got that shape there. So how do we know again how to fit that in? Let's quickly measure there. Just, just over two. Quick, quick. Initially one uses the ruler, but as you get more experienced, you can also just, you know, judge like that. Or you can use your pencil like that. Okay, and then we can use our pencil from there to there. <coughs> excuse me, make a mark there, or if you feel more secure using a 
ruler four and a half okay it was just okay more or less okay and then again we look at that curve here look at the distance from there to there if you want to measure it again this is all learning how to draw the distances and the angles how much was that it was just between like one and one and a half more or less there okay so we know that that must go there and that links up there right there we go excellent are we still on yes okay so now next thing is this easy little triangle there that's very easy that triangle there okay and then parallel to that we have a line which is about a centimeter from that one more or less more or less a centimeter yes more or less a centimeter right and then the next one is more or less half a centimeter half a centimeter great and then we have that shape okay, and then up here we have that shape where that line is it touches it's like a scale or a feather shape and then that little one okay there we go so that's that shape great so now we move on to the next one this one down here right okay i'm just going to cover my paper because it's a bit tricky uh, with this video videoing i think that would be okay yes more or less okay so what do we have have here right okay so now let's see from there to there what is that length okay we can either again do that so it's more or less there if you want to use the ruler quickly at six centimeters yeah there we go and then let's see the oh well we've got that point but let's look where does that line have to end that distance there see that nice negative shape we need to get okay so that is just over one and a half just over one and a half there we go so we know okay so that goes straight down to there goes straight down what we can also do to get the angle the angle of the line is you take your pencil and you don't move your wrist at all you take it take it take it and you put it down there okay so you would take your pencil and put it down there without ever moving the wrist okay so so we see that distance there that distance okay so it's about the more or less a little bit higher okay great so now what, what can we do here where do we go what's the easiest way okay so you did that triangle up there so let's continue with that line okay so if we had to think of a clock that would be where four o'clock on the clock hey four o'clock that's three and that's five so we would go to towards four four o'clock hey sorry we would go towards four o'clock three four so let's do that and the length of that is about five centimeter about five towards four with a ever so slight slight curve ever so slight right so you've got that so that's that one where the triangle is where the triangle that line there and then it goes up and it curves up right and what do you know it meets with that one at the top there we go right now the next one look at that angle that would go towards 11 o'clock 11 o'clock on the clock on the watch and then 
you have that curve there. Right. Excellent. And now the next one is quite easy. Okay, you get a little triangle there. And then you have that shape there. Okay, little triangle in that shape. Excellent. So now let's carry on here. So there, that's also about a centimeter. If you want to measure them, you can about a centimeter. And you carry on where the where that where the horizontal and vertical lines cross, you go and you do that. And then it just goes up towards half past eleven. This is more or less straight, hey? more or less straight line, more or less a straight line. Great, except if you draw a straight line there, that one would go over slightly. Okay, so the next one we know goes over slightly, that one. And that's again about a centimeter. So you see, everyone can learn how to draw. It's like learning how to read or write. It's teachable. Okay, there we go. You go there and then you go slightly over. Right. Okay, and then you've got that little bit of that shape there. And that's quite straight. And then it's just pointy and it goes over. Straight, pointy and... Okay, that one's a bit more curved. Pointy and more or less like that. That's good enough. Okay, and then you have a little half a centimeter bit there. Okay, already you, you 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 can see with your eye more or less that's a centimeter and a bit. You don't have to measure each time. Right, girls. So now we've got that measurement there. So where does that meet up? It meets up there where that shape touches that one, right? So we just see the angle, okay? And we don't move our wrist at all. We take it and it's there, correct. And then we bring it up. And then afterwards we just put a few zigzags in there. Excellent, great. So now we've got this section left. So how, how do we do this? Okay, so now you, you, we know that by that pointy bit, it has to go up. And where does it curve? It curves more or less there. Hey? It goes up. So you see now one line relates to the other line. The angle, you don't even have to measure them anymore. You can use that where they meet more or less. You know it curves. Okay, and then it goes down towards... Half past three about. Eh? Well, it goes almost parallel to the top line. There we go. And then, okay, if you want to see that little bit, if you now really want to measure it, you're welcome to. It's like just two centimeters if you feel better about that. But otherwise you can also see with your eye. You can measure with your eye there. And then it curves. Great, so you've got that. And now underneath here, fine, so now the, the other shape here, after that one, two, and by the third one, one, two, the third one here, you can see almost a centimeter with your eye. Okay, it's got a slight curve, and where does it curve? If you look there, if you had to also, it's just where that is, it's that angle it curves there right and then it goes there and there okay more or less and then there it goes like that okay girls excellent there we go great so now Let's move on to the next section, which is that one there. Okay. And 
to make sure it's in the camera. Yes. And how am I going to do this? Um, there. Okay, so there. There's that rectangle. There is that rectangle. Right. So let's carry on. Okay, now I'm sure by now you know how this works. We measure there from that line to that line. Okay, like I say, one could measure to make it nice and quick and easy like that. Either use that, you just don't change the width. Or your ruler, which would be 8 centimeter. 8 centimeter, great. 8 centimeter. Excellent. Right. And now it meets up with that curve. Okay. But just to, to make sure we get the right curve, let's measure from there to there. Okay. So that is about six and a half. Okay. Six and a half there. Great, and then we can make our curve and it meets up. Wonderful. Okay, still with me. Great. Okay, so let's quickly do this little bit here. Very easy. So there's a tiny little from that line there. And then again, the one centimeter parallel. And then the that half a centimeter goes right up at that angle half a centimeter width more or less or just more or less these are feathers so they are very forgiving okay and then we've got a tiny bit of a shape up there by that line and see that little shape there that little shape where that line is great so you've got that organized Okay, and then let's just do this one too. That is two and a half about, two and a half. And it goes down to one and a half about, one and a half. Okay, great. So there we go. We link them up. Look always at the curves. Look with your eyes. Nice. Right, so now we have to do this part here. So I think first, I think we forgot the branch here. Ah, oh, we can add that afterwards. Okay, so first let's measure there to there. Okay, that is just over two and a half quickly. Da -dum -bum -bum. Two and a half. Okay, and the bottom bit would be a half. A half right there we go and where does it go up to let's measure here that is just under seven just under seven and the width is about two here yeah, more or less two just round about one millimeter above two okay and now look at this negative space okay the bird is the positive space and the everything behind and in between is the negative space so the negative space also helps us to draw if you draw that negative space it shares the same line as the positive space so automatically the positive space will pop up okay there we go so let's do so we have to get that angles from there to there because so i've got a slight curve let's see let's see okay more or less like that right okay so we're going to do that slight curve and then the top as well look at that space all the time while you're drawing Look, keep that width, keep it, keep it, keep that width, looking there. Keep that width, yes, yes, we're going to take it right through. Right, okay, so more or less. 
few millimeters out there. Yes, that's fine. Let's just continue with it here. There it goes down there, and there it goes right. Keep that width, keep that width. Oh, I don't think you can see me. Keep that width, keep that width, keep that width. There. Okay. So now we're going to do these claws. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is see, ah, where does that, oh, we also didn't do that little bit in this rectangle. Hey, but never mind, we're going to do that now. So that's one centimeter up, one centimeter. There we go. Got that shape there. And if you see on that side of the line, it's a little triangular shape, right? And there is a tiny little shape too. Okay, there we go. So now how long is that? That is two centimeters. Two centimeters, ta -da! Okay, and then look, look at that width. It's about a half a centimeter, and it also goes down right. There we go. And then it curves, and look at this negative space. We want that negative space. It curves, and it goes like that. Okay, my, my bronze should be a little bit thicker. Right. There we go. Okay, can you see still? Yes, a little bit thicker. Okay, so we've got that shape there and it touches the line. Hey, great. Now, what do we do there? We measure from there to the branch, that line. Okay, we've got the two centimeters. Can you see? We've got the 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 two centimeters there so what's that measurement and it goes towards eight o'clock oh it's another two where's eight o'clock on the clock there we go eight o'clock would be about there hey more or less okay so there you want to get the angle don't move your wrist just take it like that take 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 like that uh, slightly different, let me see, there, no, slightly more like that, let me change it, okay, like that, like that, yeah, there we go, let's say, like, quarter past eight, okay, and then, there's a little bump on there. Hey, there's a little bump. Now girls, you can play this video over and over and pause so that you understand because I know it's a lot to take in. Okay girls, so now we're going to do that little shape there. Okay. And it goes towards that angle. What time would that be? That's six seven just after seven here it goes towards there so you can make that line and then you can pad it out with a little curve <clears throat> just see it's about halfway this this the width of that branch it's about halfway hey the width and then it would stop there and then it makes a little almost like a, a nut a peanut with its shell hey so you can make an association that also helps. Okay, so there we go. And then we just put that. There we go. Okay, so now look at the next one. Okay, so that goes curves up and with that there. That makes a curve. Okay, so that makes a curve there. Great. Okay, so now look at, are we still on? Yes. So look at that distance there. Okay, so that goes up. Okay, so this is also the negative space. You want to get that negative space to look like that. 
So where does that line go? Just after 6 o'clock, hey? And then it touches there. It goes in and around. And then it curves. And look, half a centimeter before that line, it stops. And it has a, just after 6 o'clock and it curves like a peanut in its shell. Can okay, goes around. There, let me put the nail on there. Okay, so also look at that negative space there. That one is like at six o'clock. Hey, and look at that distance. So if you want to measure that just to make it make you feel like you know more where you're going, okay, it's just over half a centimeter. That's right about there. And then we do another curve up there in and out, in, and around, and then around like a peanut in a shell, and then up, and then we put that shape there, and voila, it's done. Great. Looks a little bit bigger, but that's fine. Right, so now let's do the next one. Look at that distance. Let's quickly measure it. That's Two and a half. Two and a half. Are you starting to understand now? Hey, uh, it'd be great if your parents also join in or your siblings and even the teachers that are watching. Um, yeah, and then it would be wonderful to see the finished artworks. Maybe we could have a digital exhibition. Great, girls. So let's do this. So there and there. So you know that. And then towards, what's that? Five o'clock. Okay, so we... Parallel, it's parallel to that one, parallel, okay, parallel, and then we go down, and then that one, that one also goes down, and then, whoops, just under three o'clock, okay, so, My bird could be a bit lower. This could be a bit down. It's okay, but it's fine. It's it is a forgiving subject matter. Okay, so there we go. There, then we go towards that angle. Again, if you want to measure, don't move your wrist. Don't move your wrist. Great. Or just under nine o'clock. Sorry, did I say three? I meant nine, just under nine. Okay, and then a bump, and your peanut goes towards half past seven, quarter to eight on the clock there, more or less. And where does it? It's in the middle. It's in the middle. Right, so you've got those clues. So it makes a curve. Think of your peanut there, and then there, and then there. Okay, and your Law. Great. Look at that negative space. It's not a lot. It's about that much. Hey. And then already again, you go and you go in, out and around, up. There. That's towards seven o'clock. And you do your claw. Hey. Then look at that space there. Yeah, those are almost in line. Hey? They're in line. But that one's quite straight. Look at that space. Right? So, and then there, up there, we start with our peanut shape. Down. And a curve. Up. And there. Okay, great. And our claw. Wow, what do you know? We did it. Yay! <laughs> Great girls, and you must you can also put a bit of zigzag feather texture in there. Are we still on? Yes, excellent. Okay, now we're going to do the last section for this first lesson, and let's move on to that. So you're getting the knack of it now. Hmm. Can you see? Yes. Great. Okay, so let's do this quickly. So let's go. So where do we start here? Measure, 
where does that head start? Eight centimeters. Eight centimeters. Okay, and where from the top? Um, one and a half, more or less. At eight. Yes, one and a half. Okay, so there. So that's one and a half there, and it curves. See? Yeah. Okay, so that's your eight centimeter measurement, and that's your one and a half. Okay, so if you had to draw a line and a line, you would see there's a curve. Great, and then that's going to meet up. So, so if you want, we can also measure that. Where does that shape end? It's just the fourish about. No, that can't be. Sorry, it's about three-ish. Three-ish there. Okay, so three-ish. It starts going down. A bit more so that's that curved shape and then at three it goes down and now you can see that goes towards five o'clock sorry and it's um like that's you know that's one centimeter it's almost two hey so you can measure two and then it makes it meets up there so you've got a little bump a little bump and then it meets up Great. Okay. So there we go. Now that line is quite straight here. Yeah. So let's measure for how long it's straight for. For about two and a half more or less. Two and a half more or less. Okay, down to there. Let's see. There, there. Great. Okay, so we've got that. And then it goes, curves out that direction and then slightly in so where does that where does it go slightly in where does that happen let's measure quickly six and a half six and a half and see how the grid helps us and just under three just under three there we go okay yeah, so that's there, and then there. Great. So that's that shape. Okay, and now let's put this shape in. So where does that happen? Okay, so you can see if you want to measure exactly. It happens... Just, if you measure from the top, just under three and a half, can make your line, great. And that goes where, to where, where on the clock does that go to? That goes like towards 10 o'clock, hey? That's the angle, towards 10 o'clock. And it's about one centimeter wide, plus minus. You can see that with your eyes now. See, you're getting, becoming more professional now. Don't always need the ruler there. And then it goes down towards 5 o'clock, more or less. See? 5 o'clock. Okay, and then there, let's measure that length is 3 and a half. 3 and a half. Okay, so it goes down, but it curves ever so slightly. Goes down, it curves ever so slightly, and then there it goes up, and it also curves. It goes up, and it also curves. Yeah. And then there you've got that line. You create a little triangle there. Okay, see that triangle that you create, and that one meets up with the. There we go. You can create that triangle and then that meets up with the point there. And then there's another little point. There's another little triangle going up. Right. So where is the eye? If you see here, 
the eye. If you want to measure the eye like that, you're welcome to. That is one and a half. One and a half. Okay. And then you can see it's about, look at that distance. And it's not exactly round. It's got that shape there. Or if you want to do it round, it's also fine there. It goes up like that, pointy, and then straight, more or less. Hey. Okay, so do we want to do that more? Okay, now let's do this marking here, this nice red marking of the robin. Okay, so that curves, it goes down, it goes up the up where the triangle is, it goes this up, it goes around. Okay, then it goes down and around. Okay, and then it goes straight down to where that beak is almost. And then it goes out. If you want to measure again, see how the grid helps us. Two and a half, two and a half. From the top of the page, it's five and a half. Five and a half, there we go. Okay, so that goes out there. Then it goes in. If you want to use that where you don't move your wrist at all. Do, 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 do. There, you can always take another pencil and draw a line. Then you've got the angle, okay? The angle, yeah, more or less. There. And then it goes in a bit. Now you can measure again. You can measure that, that width and that width to see exactly where that must, must go. Okay, or you can do that and that. So that is right. And then it goes down a bit for a centimeter. Just a centimeter. It goes in, curves in for half a centimeter. Again, drawing is all about looking. Goes down, look, 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 curves, and then goes there. Gets a bit more of a bulge. Okay. So there we go. Now we're just going to finish off here and then we're done. Great. Okay, so where do we start here? So that line you see there, that line. Okay, let's start there. Okay, then you get that shape. Okay, and that, that shape. So let's see what's the easiest to do here. Okay, so... Maybe let's just get that curve in. If we move our paper a bit, we see it, it carries on from that line. Let's see how high it must go to. Seven centimeters and very close to there. Seven centimeters. Okay, so you see that line? It's very close to that line and seven centimeters. So that curves up. Right, you've got that. So once we've got that, we're going to add in these one two and a tiny little bit of those feathers so where do they start they start there okay let's just see just so we stay on the right track two centimeters two centimeters from there to there is two centimeters so we know and from there to there is you can see with your eyes like just over a centimeter right so there's one two three Look at the angle towards five o'clock. One, two, and then three. Okay, fit that in a bit there. Great. Okay, so we've got that. Now, let's do that one there. How far is it from there? Two. Ah, oh, it's going to meet up with that. Hey, that's easy enough. So we see... Where that is, where that little bit is, that little tip, we start there and we look at the curve. It meets up. Excellent. See, so yeah, if you just look at the shapes within the grid, even if you do it separately, it will fit like a puzzle because you've been looking at the shapes. Okay, and then let's see now that one. Where does that go towards? Five o'clock. Okay, there's a, just over a centimeter there. So we can make a mark and it that goes 
up, 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 and that would also be a centimeter there. Hey, so it would go in that direction towards two o'clock. You see that curve there? So you can do that curve. So then you fit one, two, three lines in. One, two, three. Okay, so you fit in one. That line starts up there between those two. One, and it curves. The next one's between those two feathers. Two. And the last one is there at the end of that one. Great. Three. And then we do a curve there, and then it carries on there. Wonderful. So nice if it all comes together. Great, girls, and we're almost done. So then that goes up there. That shape there, so it's a tiny little bit underneath, and then it goes to where that, where, where that shape is there in the middle. There, it goes up to there, and then this feather goes up to the next one, there. Great! And then that line links up there and there. Great girls! So wonderful! Congratulations! You've drawn the robin. Okay girls, so that's the end of lesson one and we'll continue with lesson two next time. Bye!